Hello everybody and welcome back into today's episode of Hearts of Iron 4 and today it's time for another overpowered mod. I found another one on the market and I couldn't let it go. Today we are going to be hopping in and doing overpowered whales. Now the mod itself is just called just another little cheat mod and essentially it, it gives you everything overpowered so you can play anyone you could be luxembourg and basically one tag if you wanted to but we're gonna go as whales because why not we're gonna start off as the uk release whales and get all sorted and here we are with our beloved little whales the capital of cardiff and good old wrexham up north no idea whales was so cutting edge um and very much like the other video that we did a couple of weeks ago which was the op australia mod link in the top corner right now um <laughs> You can get some kinds of crazy buffs. Like at the moment here, you see in the bottom it says cheats. Political cheats. On. Yes, please. And it costs zero to put everything in play. And um, these cheats are, um, they're hardcore. They're, 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 they're hardcore. I mean, just get a look at the army one, for example. Look at that division org. Look at that division org. That's crazy. But before we go any further into today's episode, I want to invite you to subscribe to the channel. We do have content coming out every week. I try to make it as fun as possible. And if we can hit 3,000 subs by uh, Christmas, I will be doing Cold War mod. But I'm going to play from 1947 to 2022. It's a long old journey. But if you guys can get the channel to 3K, I'll get it out by New Year's. That's the plan, at least. <laughs> Right, on with the video. Now, this little mod, although it doesn't start off with everything researched, it also gives us the option, though, to get everything done in one day. So it's going to be like a couple months or a month until everything's all sorted. Again, factories, if you give two factories, it'll pump out like a thousand. And we get this, Doctrines Available, where we can choose our own Doctrines, because uh, rather than having everything done in, uh, we get 500 a day. That's right, 500 experience a day. It's crazy. <laughs> Are you crazy? Also, another cool thing to note is, very much like the Australia mod, there are loads of spaces for construction. Little old Wales has 25 spots. I don't know why Wales has 25 spots, but you know what? In this mod, logic does not count. I'm chucking in 9 civvies, 11 mills, 2 silos, and then when I can get them researched, I'll do synthetics. I want this little Wales to be one hell of a war machine. Uh, let's just go mill. Uh, material, motorized, I guess, and then light aircraft. Pop this up to par limited, and then this up to partial. Bro, little whales is going to be the whales that could. And after not even six months into the game, we have already completed all of the research. I do love this. This is fantastic. <laughs> See, cheat mods are great. You know, if you ever need to switch off your bra brain and just enjoy things, just cheat mods. Cheat mods are fine. OP mods as well. OP mods are great as well. Um, also, by the way, if you want to see some like really, really cursed, so, like something cursed beyond belief, stick around to the end of the video because I've got something for you. I'm going to make your eyes bleed and you're going to love it. <laughs> and now it's finally time to begin the conquest. The Welsh one tag will now begin with the first steps of turning fascist. From Wales, we give birth to the dragon. The dragon of Cambria. The good old nation of Cambria led by Glyn. The Welsh dragon will rise and Britain will be the first to feel the pain. Especially with this 10 days war goal. <laughs> and it is time for the cookie to crumble. I'm going to be running two divisions this whole run. Oh, sorry, two templates this whole run. First, my motorized, which look like this. And then my tank brigades that look like this. And without further ado, it's time to take down the first victim. My 12 divisions against Britain. Let's go, Cambria. Ooh. Now, the reason that this is not going as smoothly as I thought it would be is because where we started as Britain and released Wales with the cheat mod on, that's why. That's the exact reason why Britain are hard, because they've got the same bonuses as us. So it's just a matter of, of template at the moment. And then other than that, it's just going to be fun. Just demolishing everything, painting everything red. Everything will be Cambria. The world will be Cambria. We're not worthy! So, good news. We got Britain to cap. Bad news, they managed to get an ally. And that ally is uh, is China. <laughs> so now little old Cambria, who's only just learned how to, to war, um, 
I have to go and deal with China and Guangxi Click and Yunnan and Shangxi and the Communist Chinese and Xi Bei and Xinjiang. I'm going to be at war with anyone, everyone anyway, but it's so inconvenient. Okay, right, let me finish the job. Let's put the new factories to work. And it's finally time to spread the message of Cambria. Now, I need to get this land because I have no manpower. And uh, I can't get my manpower from Britain until I peace out China. So I'm going to have to work my way over to China. And I've got no problem doing that. And we're going to start off with France. Hey, France. Nice to pay you a visit. <laughs> oh, no. And now it's time to watch the French fall and watch them fall fast. My 12 divisions, go play. Oh, my Lord. Just look at that speed, bro. Just look at that speed. It puts Sonic to shame. Okay, and it's update time. As you can see, we're slowly but surely creeping across to China. I may have dug a hole a little bit too big um, because I'm not only at war now with China, but the Commonwealth of Nations as well. I feel like I've made a mistake. <laughs> It is what it is. Um, I was hoping everyone would join the Chinese faction, but evidently not. Um, I'm just going to eat Turkey, Iran, Pakistan, all this lot, and then creep into Xinjiang and just deal with it. I'm hoping 12 divisions will be enough. Once that's done, I can bank on manpower and we can actually have more than 12 divisions. Right, okay. So it took me a little while. It took me a little while, and I'm finally here in China, okay? I've got rid of Pakistan. I dealt with all the colonies along the way. I now have two tank divisions. And then I've got two infantry divisions. I literally just need to take rid of... Get take rid of? Oh my god, I can't even English. I just need to get rid of China and we're golden. So without further ado, let the chaos begin. <laughs> just look at how quick that is, dude. That's crazy. I love this tank core. And that's in the mountains, bro. That's in the mountains. And now that I've taken most of China, I think it's pretty much ready for that peace treaty. I'm, there we go. Speak of the devil and it appears. Right, okay. Let me uh, let me clean up this. Let me core everything. Let me take everything. And then the fun can truly begin. Okay, so I might have made a mistake. I might have declared on Albania. <laughs> forgetting that it was... Uh, forgetting it was a puppet of Italy. Um, so now I'm having to do an Italian cleanup and none of my troops were ready for it. Oh, mistakes, bro. I've made a few mistakes. I'm trying to ship troops over to Canada as well in the hopes that they do not lose or do not take this part of Newfoundland so I can just get over there, take them out, and then just peace out what I've taken as well that's part of, like, the Freedom Defense League or whatever they've called themselves. You know, now that I've dealt with Italy, I might as well deal with Germany, but I'm just I'm intrigued to see how long it'll take with, you know, the the plus a billion organization and everything all put together. I wonder how quickly Germany will fall. I'm just going to sit here and wait. This is just for pure amusement. Um, so um, Germany, ripperoni, bro. No, don't get in the way of my spectatorship. <laughs> oh my God. Can you imagine something like this in base game, like without the mods and stuff? Like, can you imagine that without the mods achieving a, an aggressive attacking formation like that? That's just disgustingly beautiful, and I love everything about it. Okie dokie. Okay, now that Germany's been dealt with, I'm just going to clean up the rest of Europe. Uh, and Asia as well, to be fair. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to clean up the rest of Asia, um, rest of Europe, wait for Spain and Soviet Union to finish having their little, you know, spats, as it were, and... I guess we'll just continue from there. Okay, and now it is time to really wreak havoc on the world. I have troops lined up in the States, troops lined up in the Soviet Union. I'm going to arrange the map a little bit so that we can actually have both in picture. There you go. Lovely. And without further ado, declare against Trotsky. Declare against... Is it FDR? I think it's FDR. Yep, FDR. Good God, I always get them mixed up, the American presidents. They confuse me. Don't judge me. <laughs> and everyone will be put on active order. And without further ado, enjoy the fireworks. Oh my god. It's actually immediate. It's actually immediate. And look at how slow my ticker is going. My ticker is going so slow, but every time an hour passes, we take territory. That's just maddening. You know, this is probably the part I was looking forward to the least in the, in the one tagging, and that was South America, because although I've got all these buffs... It's still got really bad infrastructure. Like, I'm literally updoing the infrastructure each time I move. It's um, it's not convenient. And then the island hopping in the Caribbean as well. That's that's not ideal either. But at least we haven't got island hop from Japan. Japan collapsed pretty easily compared to previous playthroughs. So that's a dub at least. Are you guys ready for Spain? Yeah, you guys are ready for Spain. Let's go have fun with you. And the one tag is slowly but surely coming to an end. Mongolia, Tanatuva have been eaten up. 
most of the South America has been eaten. I'm probably going to save this part till last. Um, I'm just getting my core or my justification on Iceland and the Caribbean. And then I need to deal with Indonesia. And then other than that, I think it's done. I think that'd be one tag complete. Come on, not too long left. We're nearly done, nearly finished. There's the capital. Charge! <laughs> and just like that, the Caribbean has been dealt with. Cuba being the last member of the region. Now, all we've got left to do is to take the Navy over to Indonesia, wait for my naval uh, invasion guys to actually arrive. Um, and it, whilst I wait for that, in the meantime, I'm going to finish off South America. I'm going to wait for my troops to leave the Caribbean, come down here to Argentina. And then once they arrive, we're just going to eat the whole of South America, finish these guys off. And then the only ones who will be... Can't even English. Oh, my word. The only ones who will be remaining will be Republic of Indonesia. We'll take out the Indonesians, and then we've completed the one tag. But remember, I still have something cursed to show you. And something cursed has... It's, it's turned into three super cursed things. I think this might be the most cursed game of the EU4. I can't even... That's how cursed it is. I can't even say the game right. Hoi4. This might be the most cursed game of Hoi4 ever and now it's finally time to start the last of the steps it's taken out south america so i'm going to go ahead get some justifications on the one i haven't got justifications on declare on who i can just clean it up really get it all dealt with as soon as possible uh argentina too uh i believe chile needs to be justified no nope. there we go that's done okay clean them up clean up peru and then i'll see you guys again when it's time to take out indonesia and without a further ado it's time for the last one. I mean, the exact last one. If I go to diplomacy and check nations, it's just me and Indonesia. Peru's listed, but um, Peru long gone. <laughs> so it's time to send an invitation to the Republic of Indonesia and end their time here. And just like that, the one tag has been completed. The uh, Republic of Indonesia has been finished. Select all, submit demands, confirm and exit. That's all done. Now it's time, before we close off, to show you what is so cursed about this save. I've been doing it in the background. It's not completed just yet. We'll be back as soon as I get this completed. It's, it might take a while, so... Oh, God, this is so cursed. Why did I even do this? I thought it was going to be a funny bit. It's not. It's just... It's, it's suffering. This is definitely the most cursed toy video that I've ever done. <laughs> Maybe even on YouTube. Who knows? Right, okay. I guess I'll see you once the, the cursed has been cursed. Okay, so you may be asking yourself, Anglo, why am I looking at the loading in screen? Um, and the answer for that is I, I made something so cursed. It um, Yeah. <laughs> so to give you an explanation, I was up until like three o'clock in the morning trying to make this thing as cursed as possible. What I managed to do using the cheat mod, I managed to build a fort on every single tile in the game. I managed to build a land, uh, sorry, a sea fort or a coastal fort on every single coastal province in the game. I managed to add a supply hub on every single tile in the game. Um, and I also managed to build a 70,000 ship navy. And I think that might be what uh, what's crashed the game. Uh, <laughs> it was it was it was it was so bad because like it, the reason it went on until three o'clock in the morning um, is for the sole factor of it took like 20 minutes for a day to pass. OK, and I thought, you know what, I'll save it and I'll load it up tomorrow and I'll, I'll get back to it and I'll show everyone as cursed as I could possibly get it. Um, I've tried loading in four times and this keeps happening. For, for you, it looks like it's loading. For me, it's not. I've got like a blue ring around my mouse. And if I click it, it pops up with a white screen saying, Hoi 4 is not responding. If you close the program, you might lose information. Um, so yeah, I made a game so cursed um, that it literally won't work. It blew up my, contro uh, my, my, my controller. You might as well have done my computer. Um, so with that being said, the checklist to achieve this in the cheat mod is one tag. For every province, coastal fort every coastal province, supply hub every supply thing, get uh, 70,000 ships in your navy. And I think I also had like 40 strat bombers somewhere. Uh, sorry, 40,000 strat bombers somewhere. So you can have a play around with that as well. See if you can crash it. See if it crashes your computer or not. Um, this is the great toy experiment. <laughs> Uh, but I have achieved the most cursed game. I, I want someone to try and top this with their version of the mod. Um, with that being said, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have enjoyed, don't forget to, of course, click the like button and subscribe. Again, 3K. If we can hit 3K by Christmas, I will happily do a Cold War mod playthrough from 1947 to 2022. Uh, it's going to be quite a wild run, uh, quite fun time. But if we can manage 3K, I promise you I will deliver on my end of the bargain. So without further ado, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. I've been Anglo. You've been you. Have a good one, guys. And laters.